drive and I thought I'd take you with me. And I was just wanting to have a bit of a car vlog because I have some stuff to get off my chest and you guys are great listeners so I just thought I'd have a bit of a bit of a discussion and see what you guys thought. So recently one of my good girlfriends broke up with her boyfriend that she'd been going out for like a decent while and when I was with her a lot of the advice that people would give and like our other girlfriends would give would be oh just go online like just download tinder you'll be fine swipe right you got this and I was thinking like it is ridiculous how much we as this generation and the generation after us rely on social media so heavily for everything like think about it what can't we do online now we find all our knowledge online you don't know it google it done you go shopping online if you can't make it out you can even do the supermarket shopping online and so now we've got all these dating apps like Tinder, like OkCupid, RSVP. And it's like we're so dependent on that. We can't even go out to a club, go out to a bar and find someone there. Not that that's really dating material, but these days people, people just don't. Don't think of dating the same way it used to. And I get it. Things change. Technologies like evolve. Things like that. But I don't know whether we're using it correctly. And it is easy to establish a relationship online. Like relatively easy. Because what people do essentially is judge you not by you but by your online profile. And there's not a lot of limitations put on your online profile. And I was reading this article by um, Paul someone and he was making a really good point. And it was, online dating is good. It has a lot of benefits. I get it. I'm not trying to diss it completely. I, I understand some people are too busy or some people just can't find the right person in that area. Like the town I live in, it's very small. So there's not a lot going on and sometimes people want to go to the next closest city or even the other side of the world and I get that. But I just, like Paul says, I, I think Online dating is more for hookups, like not a serious relationship. Maybe go on a couple of dates, maybe get a bit jiggy with her and then forget about it. But if you're looking for a serious relationship, I think offline is the best way to do it. That's the way you meet people properly, you know people, like Damasi was saying in his article, that because of these online profiles, you can go through someone's account and essentially find everything about them before you meet them. Make a judgement whether or not they're the right person for you. And then go off that. It cuts out the experience of meeting up in a restaurant or going to the movies and talking and sort of sussing out whether you guys are right for each other there. And while I get that it's sometimes really handy, it's also a little sad. And then there was this other article about um, sexual satisfaction offline versus off, uh, offline versus online. And everyone who was online said when they had relationships offline, it was so much better. And if that doesn't convince you to have a proper relationship offline, I don't know what will. And yeah, like I said, like establishing a relationship is fairly easy. Like, 
you don't have a lot to do. But it's maintaining it that's really difficult, I find. See, like, technically, technically I'm in an online relationship. I met my boyfriend two and a half years ago, and um, he now lives in America, and I haven't seen him for about ten months, I want to say. Tell you what though, social media is a blessing. <laughs> like essentially our relationship is just Facebook and Skype. <laughs> and Snapchat. Snapchat is good too. Then I don't forget what my boyfriend actually looks like, you know what I mean? And a lot of people argue like they've been too concentrated on work or their career or whatever the case may be. Um, and there are a lot of positives for it, like, you find more people, it's quicker, it's easier, it's more accessible, and yeah, everyone who's in it, you know, is in it for a good time, like, you know, they're not on a dating website to just find a friend, so you've got no risk of being in the friend zone. It's a totally different ball game, and I think people have to acknowledge that and realise realise that it's not the same yeah so anyways that's just my opinion like if you're if you're too busy to go out and date then maybe you're too busy for a boyfriend but I don't know we'll see everyone has their own opinions and I'd love to hear your feedback um yeah hit me up Catch you guys later.